users can start common tasks within your app with app icon shortcuts. The Web Animations API adds support for a slew of previously unsupported features. WakeLock and the Content Indexing API graduate from Origin Trial. There are new Origin Trials for Idle Detection and SIMD, and there's a whole bunch more. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 84. App icon shortcuts make it easy for users to quickly start common tasks within your app. For example, compose a new tweet, send a message, or see their notifications. They're supported in Chrome and Edge and on both desktop and mobile. These shortcuts are invoked by right-clicking on the app icon on Windows or Mac OS, or long pressing on the app icon on Android. Adding a shortcut to your PWA is easy. Create a new shortcuts property in your web app manifest, describe the shortcut, and add your icons. Chrome 84 adds a slew of previously unsupported features to the Web Animations API. Animation.ready and Animation.finish have been promisified. The browser can now clean up and remove old animations, saving memory and improving performance. And you can combine animations using composite modes with the add and accumulate options. If your content is available without a network connection, but the user doesn't know about it, is it really available? There's a discovery problem here. With the Content Indexing API, which just graduated from Origin Trial, you can add URLs and metadata for content that's available offline. Using that metadata, the content is then surfaced to the user, improving discoverability. To add content to the index, call index.add on the service worker registration and provide the required metadata about the content. Want to see what's already in your index? Call index.getAll on the service worker registration. I like to cook, but I find it super frustrating when I'm following a recipe and the screensaver kicks in. With the Wake Lock API, which also graduated from Origin Trial in Chrome 84, sites can request a Wake Lock to prevent the screen from dimming or even locking. In fact, the Betty Crocker websites are using this today. To get a Wake Lock, call Navigator dot wake lock dot request. It returns a wake lock sentinel object, which is used later to release the wake lock. Of course, there is a little bit more to it than that, but most importantly, my screen won't be covered in flower anymore. There are two new origin trials that I want to call out. The idle detection API notifies you when a user is idle, potentially they're away from their computer. This is great for things like chat applications or social networking sites to let users know if their contacts are available or not. And WebAssembly SIMD starts an origin trial. It introduces operations that map to commonly available SIMD instructions in hardware. SIMD operations are used to improve performance, especially in multimedia applications. Like I said, Chrome 84 is a big one and I skipped a lot of the new stuff. There are two other important updates that I want to call out quickly. First, we're resuming the gradual rollout of same site cookie changes. And sites with abusive permission requests or abusive notifications will automatically be enrolled in our new quieter notifications UI. All the details, including links, docs, specs, are in the updates post linked in the description. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Pete LePage, and hopefully I'll get a haircut before Chrome 85 is released. But in any case, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.